As with any mechanical device, proper maintenance is essential to the performance, reliability, and longevity of an outboard motor. One of the most important parts to keep in good condition is the carburetor. For the motor to deliver maximum reliability and performance, the carburetor requires cleaning as a part of the regular maintenance of a motor. In this guide, we will demonstrate the removal, cleaning, and reinstallation of the carburetors on the Raider Outboards Model 50. The tools required to perform this job are a ratchet, extension, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. You will also need a Raider Outboards Model 50 carburetor repair kit, which includes all of the components necessary for the rebuild. Begin by removing the six Phillips head screws securing the air silencer cover. Next, fold the lock plate tabs down to allow access to the bolts. Remove the six 8mm bolts to free the air silencer. Loosen the hose clamp on the fuel pump inlet hose and disconnect the hose. Cut the zip ties securing the carb bowl drain lines and disconnect the lines. Work the lines free as pulling can cause tearing or other damage. Remove the six 10mm bolts to free the carburetor stack and move the stack to a workbench for disassembly. Pull the linkage free and work the fuel lines off to separate the carburetors. Remove the carburetor gasket o-ring, then unscrew the four Phillips head screws securing the float bowl and remove the float bowl gasket from the float bowl. Remove the Phillips head screw securing the float and separate the pin and the needle from the float. Remove the rubber slow jet plug. Using a small flathead screwdriver, unscrew and remove the slow jet. Unscrew and remove the main jet. Turn the carburetor over to remove the main nozzle. Unscrew and remove the fuel air adjust screw. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the cover plate and remove the cover plate and gasket. On the top carburetor, unscrew and remove the idle speed screw. When servicing the bottom carburetor, the fuel pump attached to the carburetor must be serviced as well. Remove the four Phillips head screws holding the fuel pump together. Separate the fuel pump cover, gaskets, and body from the carburetor, taking care not to damage the fuel inlet. Scrape off any remaining gasket material and wipe the gasket surface clean. Inspect all passageways for debris, buildup, or clogs. Remove with carburetor cleaner and low pressure air if present. Inspect the jets and nozzle for clogs, buildup, or debris and remove with carb cleaner and low pressure air if present. Inspect the gaskets for damage, swelling, or buildup and replace if present. Replace the carb cover gasket with the one provided in the repair kit and reinstall the carb cover using the two Phillips head screws. 
Install the washer included in the carb rebuild kit onto the fuel air set screw and reinstall the screw. Use caution not to over tighten the screw as this will damage the carburetor beyond repair. Reinstall the main nozzle and main jet. Then, reinstall the slow jet and black rubber plug, ensuring the recessed side faces down. Reinstall the float, needle, and float arm and secure with the Phillips head screw. Reinstall the float bowl, ensuring the gasket is seated correctly and secure with four Phillips head screws. Use caution as over tightening may cause damage to the float bowl leading to fuel leakage and fire hazard. Reinstall the idle speed screw and spring on the top carb. Reinstall the fuel pump onto the lower carb using the new gaskets, ensuring they are installed in the proper order and secure using the four Phillips head screws. Install the new carburetor gaskets, then reassemble the carburetor stack and secure the fuel lines with zip ties. Remove the heavy fuel plate gasket from behind the heavy fuel plate. Ensure that the plate is flat and not warped or bent and reinstall the plate with the gasket behind it. Install the carb stack and secure the carb stack, heavy fuel plate, and gasket with the six 10 millimeter bolts. Torque the carburetor bolts to nine foot pounds. Reinstall the float bowl drain lines and secure with zip ties. Reinstall the air silencer using the six 8mm bolts. Lock the tabs in place. Reattach the air silencer cover. Reconnect the fuel pump inlet hose and secure with hose clamp. Upon completion of reassembly, the motor should be test run to ensure proper function of all components. Connect the motor to a water source. Connect the fuel source and prime the motor using the fuel bulb. Check all fuel hoses and connections for leaks. Pump the engine primer and start the motor. Blip the throttle to confirm function. Do not hold the throttle open without a load on the motor, as this can cause damage. After confirming functionality, the carburetors must be tuned before placing the motor into operation. Refer to the carburetor tuning guide found in the owner's manual for detailed tuning instructions. For more information on the Raider Outboards Model 50, visit RaiderOutboards.com.